Hi guys, going to do another one of these weekend box uh, projects. Done two of them, and there was four in the box. So this is the third one. Do seeds need light to grow? Now we're not going to see the answer, are we? Because we've got to plant the sunflower seeds. Um, and it says empty yogurt pots but I've got a couple of small jam jars there uh, yeah we've got plant sunflower seeds in compost leave one out of sunlight and one in sunlight I could have done this before we went on holiday but they'd have dried up while we were away so Because, bearing in mind, the seeds in there are going to be many years old, four or five years old, they may not germinate anyway. Still, we'll do what it says. First thing we'll do is open it. Oh dear, they're leaking a bit. We've got four of them. And we've got some bits of sticky back paper that we're supposed to write and put labels on them. Uh, there's our seeds. Mm, yeah, we'll find out if they germinate or not. Pull the net off your peat pellets, put one into the bottom of each yoghurt pot and add two tablespoons of warm water. Oh. In that case I need four of these, don't I? No, I'm going to do it just two. It only shows two in the picture. Well, that's probably why they tell you to pull the... Yeah, I understand. You're only going to use one pot for two. Does that make sense? Put two of these in one pot. I expect they're part of a completely different project that used them like they were. You're rambling, Grandad. I know what I'm talking about. You just don't understand what I'm saying. I think they're reusing items that were designed for something completely different. I think you normally plant those in the garden like that. Or even just on a seed tray you could put them on, couldn't you? Just to stand there. These have got little bits of something in them. Little white pellets in there. They might be to retain moisture or something.
Right, so we've broken them up, put them in the jars. Divide two tablespoons of warm water to make them damp. Okay, I'll get some tablespoons. Right, dessert spoon, tablespoon, significant difference. Warm water. One, two, one, two. Okay. After a few minutes, the pellets will soak up the water. They're not pellets anymore because we took the stuff off, didn't we? Use a fork to fluff up the soil. Mm. Add two more tablespoons of water if the soil is too dry. Mm. I'll get a fork. Oh, sorry, kick the camera. Yeah, they're still dry at the bottom of that. And that does seem to be evenly dampened now in there. So I'll put two more in here. I wonder if this is that sphagnum moss that you're not supposed to use anymore. Or peat. Peat. No, it's peat from the peat bogs you're not supposed to use anymore. Isn't it? Which I think is the same thing, but never mind. I'm not a gardening expert. I just know they wanted to, to wanted you to stop using peat. Right, that appears to be done. Divide your seeds into two equal parts. Sprinkle one pile of seeds into each pocket, uh, each pot. Using your fingers, gently press down until they're totally hidden. Right, light on one label, dark on the other, and put them in. Use a lollipop stick so you can measure the growth in the coming weeks. So we're going to have to leave this for quite a while. Place one pot with your seeds in a dark place. Place the other pot on a windowsill where it'll get lots of light. 
Okay. What's the chance of these still being active? After how many years they are. Right, half in that one. Half in that one. Push them down so you can't see them anymore. I can't see them in there. Didn't say anything about trying to put them one way up or the other. Just said push them in until you can't see them anymore. Right, they're in there. Put them in. And we need a pen to write on the labels. paper one with light written on one with dark written on easily. Shouldn't have cut it first. Should have waited. Right, I'll sort that out. There we go. Right, so we'll go and put one in light and one in dark. Dark place, where might that be? I don't expect it means absolutely pitch dark. But I'll go and find somewhere to put the dark one and I'll put the other one in the window ledge. Not in here, in the conservatory, because it'll bake in here, it'll be far too hot. Right, the light one can stay there in that window ledge. Right. The dark one, I'm actually putting in the cupboard here, where well, we've got the heat immersion heater and that, so I have to keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't dry out. In the summer that doesn't come on much anyway, doesn't get used much, but I still think it will be too warm in there. Well, there really isn't much more we can do now. I'll have to 
set myself a reminder in my diary to do a summary video in a few weeks time just so we can see if they've actually grown. I'll have to check them on a fairly regular basis to make sure they don't dry out. So, yeah, that's as far as we can go in this video. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.